Well, it seems like Nvidia is planning yet another graphics card and this one, my friends, actually seems very promising and it would essentially mean that Nvidia would split branding into GeForce RTX and GeForce GTX series. Hey, how is it going guys? It is Robin here. So after more than two years of the Pascal architecture, Nvidia announced its successor touring, which they then released by the end of August. Now, it's been a lot of talk around this new touring architecture and many of us has been... Uh, I don't know quite disappointed to say the least with the pricing and this new technique that gives uh, gaming developers more tools and assets to create more realistic graphics which is nice of course but this new technique has dragged up the price to numbers not many of us are actually willing to pay and to be quite honest it made me a bit disappointed when I first saw the pricing for the new RTX lineup so hopefully these new rumors guys Guys comes as a happy surprise to all of us so if this is all true Nvidia is potentially stripping the ray tracing course but yeah keeping the tensor course and adding something called touring shaders and at the same time changing the name to GTX and this will be the 1160 and just as we didn't thought that Nvidia was gonna go with the 11 series naming it seems likely that they will still be doing that after all again what's new here is that they are ditching RTX and this time they gotta go with the older GTX naming instead now many sources are reporting this information and it's coming from a Chinese site called the expert view and according to the site they've got this news directly from Nvidia themselves so looking at this picture here or screen dump whatever you want to call it they are talking about a 1660 Ti model but video cards means that this is in fact a 1160 model instead so that would mean that they uh, kind of messed up the spelling here maybe I don't know makes sense to me if it would be a 1160 but I don't know guys what do you think here also video cards are also saying that the rumors is regarding a uh, 1160 non TI model now what I'm hoping here besides better performance with the new 1160 is a compelling price the whole RTX lineup is just too expensive and to be frank i personally don't really see the major selling point with ray tracing i mean surely nicer graphic is great right but i'd rather choose higher frame rate than nicer graphics in nine times out of ten but i'm also almost exclusively playing online as well so i guess ray tracing doesn't come first in mind for me either don't get me wrong here i definitely think this is the future but it might not be my cup of tea now let me know where you stand here guys at this point it seems way too complex and the performance hit you take from activating it uh, doesn't make sense in my opinion i mean why take a huge fps penalty for more realistic reflections right i mean from a single player game point of view it makes quite a lot of sense and in that case i would be happy to lower my frame rate a bit for a more realistic environment but i mean would you be happy to lower your frame rate in multiplayer for nine nicer graphics that doesn't make much sense though does it but anyway what the rumors are saying is that they are still gonna go with the touring architecture which still opens up for dlss deep learning super sampling and as name is hinting uh, this is an anti-aliasing technique that is using machine learning to produce the result and it is said to be less demanding than older anti-aliasing techniques and yeah dlss still seems quite promising even though it doesn't look that good in final fantasy there might just be rooms for improvement regarding dlss who knows right but obviously i want to know guys what do you think here anyway the gpu they're gonna be using with the 1160 is gonna be the tu 116 gpu and as for the rest of the touring cards it will feature gddr6 memory in opposite to the geforce rt TX2060 that will feature the TU106-200 GPU. Now in recent videos I talked a bit about the RTX2060 which Nvidia seems to be rolling out somewhere around CES which is in uh, the beginning of January in 2019 which uh, 
I, by the way, hope to attend in 2020. Anyway, what's interesting here is that this new uh, 11 series will be releasing around the same time, if it's all true, so there should be more information in the upcoming days ahead, for sure, if that is happening. Now, what this source is also saying is that the RTX 2050 isn't happening, and that the lower end cards instead will be using the 11 series naming instead. So, for example, they're gonna be a GTX 1150, a GTX 1150 Ti, and so on, which seems very likely, right? Now, what do you think, guys? GTX 1160 for $250 anyone <laughs> now that would be interesting now what price can we expect here though with amd getting ready of releasing the next generation vega and navi and intel plans of entering the graphic card market in a more serious approach nvidia might get competition sooner than expected which will hopefully fix the prices a bit and i cannot honestly wait for that to happen now what's your thoughts guys this is just a thought but what if nvidia decides to release a whole new lineup of 11 series cards think about it it's not impossible we have seen weirder things before i'm gonna order the new gtx 1160 as soon as they become available to find out how good it might be and yeah i'm gonna be posting all of this on this channel of course now i'm gonna be back with a brand new video tomorrow guys until then have an awesome day right bye and also merry christmas